So it's week three on Burns Redo, and this week we're actually reviewing Casablanca, which stars Humphrey Bogart. Now, I'm not going to go into the plot because Sam's already done that in his review, so let's just launch straight into what I think of the film. Now, I hadn't seen this movie in, God, at least uh, 13 years. I know that the last time I watched it, my granddad was still alive, and, and he died uh, 13 years ago. So it was at least 13 years since I'd seen it, and I could only remember the odd bit. And it is one of those films that, even though it's highly regarded and, and critically praised, I don't think a lot of people have actually seen it. I think it's one of those films that people say they've seen, or, you know, keep meaning to watch but never get round to it, so... That's um, it, it was a, a real kind of pleasure going back to the film after so long of having not watched it. And I have to say that it just reminds us of how films should be. And I think that a good atmosphere is something that's lacking from a lot of Hollywood movies that come out nowadays. And this film has it in spades, it really does. It has the sense of... Not necessarily foreboding, but the sense of menace as it's set in a... Uh, even though it's unoccupied France, it's um, French Morocco, I believe, Casablanca. Um, there are Nazis present, and it, it has that sense of menace underlying the entire film. And that's something that I really appreciate. Another thing I really dug about the film is just how intimate it is. Now, the, the plot itself is... It's kind of a, a big idea, you know, a, a, a bar owner trying to help people in Casablanca get exit visas to get out of the country and away from the, the Nazi threat in Europe and to America. And it's kind of a, a grand political plot, but it's on a very intimate scale. The, the film, most of it, I'd say 75% of the film is set in Rick's bar, Rick played by Humphrey Bogart. And most scenes are just, you know, two or three people talking. And it's this intimate scale that makes it feel really involving uh, for the viewer, in my opinion. I felt more involved in the film that, you know, it has such grand political ideas, but on a small scale. I thought the chemistry between Humphrey Bogart and Ingrid Bergman was fantastic. Uh, she plays his long-lost love who just happens to walk back into his life uh, years later after he lost her in Paris. And I really kind of buy their relationship. And it's a position that, while I've been in a similar position myself, you know, um, kind of losing a love and then you, you just kind of bumping into that person. I, I actually bumped into my ex 400 miles away from home. You know, I, I, I went down south uh, with my sister and her boyfriend to try and move on from all that a few months after we split up. And I, I bumped into her. 400 miles away from home in a club, you know, how random that she decided to do the same thing, go down there to um, to, to, to move on and whatnot. And so I know that feeling and I could really relate to that situation and I thought that Humphrey Bogart and Ingrid um, Bergman really kind of sold it and sold that kind of, um, well, not necessarily awkwardness, but emotional punch in the face when you're suddenly confronted by that person that you never thought you'd see again. And I thought that's done really well in Casablanca. The cinematography is very beautiful. Uh, it's black and white, and it, it's it really is a marvel to look at. But what I found quite interesting about the camera work is just how modern it is. It feels like a modern movie. There's a lot of tracking shots. The camera is very fluid. It it moves around, and I'm used to films of this era. You know, a stationary camera just pointing at two people. But the the camera really does kind of glide through a lot of the scenes, and and the scenes with the extras are very well re you know re constructed and. I was impressed by the overall direction of the film. I find myself actually quoting Class Casablanca even um, unintentionally. Like I remember when I bumped into my ex, I actually turned to um, to Dan and said, you know, of all the nightclubs in all the world, she had to walk into this one. So you know, even though it's been so long since I've watched it, I, the quotes stay with you, and and that's not just down to the script, but how um, Humphrey Bogart delivers the lines like play it again Sam and things like that these are lines that will forever live on because they are so good and so just kind of sum up that basic human nature that we all have 
that they'll they'll live on forever and like I say I find myself quoting them quite a lot so the the script is really memorable and fantastic. So to sum up, Casablanca is a, a classic film that deserves its classic status. The acting's terrific, the direction's terrific, it's beautiful to look at, it's not over long, it's about 98 minutes long, it doesn't outstay its welcome and I, I would thoroughly recommend it. If you're one of those people who hasn't seen it but you've been meaning to watch it and just never got round to it, pick it up. It's cheap as chips online and it's a fantastic film. If, if you're one of those people like me who have seen it years and years ago and just never got around to watching it again, definitely give it another chance. It, it's a brilliant film and I can't recommend it enough. And it really, it reminds us, like I said at the beginning of the review, what films should be. It's, it's fantastic and I, I highly recommend Casablanca.